YouTube Shikun Shinobi here, and it is a very late June vlog time. Um, okay, so here's what happened. Uh, most of you that follow me on Twitter, yeah, there's dogs in the background. Um, most of you that follow me on Twitter know what was going on, so if you follow me on Twitter, you can kind of just zone out for this. Um, but I was in uh, South Dakota on a family vacation. Um, my aunt, uncle, um, a family friend, and my mom and my dad go pretty much every year. Um, I usually didn't, uh, but this was possibly the last time that they're going to go. And uh, Kat has never seen South Dakota, so we wanted to go. Uh, so we went. Um, basically what happened is I worked my butt off the week before to record like 10 videos. So I had enough content to go up every day that we were gone. Uh, and then what happened... Uh, was we got to the cabin and the cabin was this kind of like deluxe sort of sweet cabin-esque thing and it was so far away from the main office where evidently the Wi-Fi routers were uh, it, it didn't get a signal in the cabin in fact we hardly got a phone signal in the cabin uh, so that was kind of hellish. So I couldn't actually upload anything. I went down to the office uh, to connect to the Wi-Fi, but the, their, their Wi-Fi was so slow that I couldn't upload anything. Uh, so despite the fact that I had 10 videos done uh, to upload in that time frame where I was gone, I couldn't upload much of any of them. I, I did upload on Saturday, and I did release one on... I don't know... Saturday, yeah. Saturday when we were in Jackson, Minnesota. And then I did upload one on Sunday because I did it previously while we were still in Jackson. So I did get one out Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, none of those videos got up. Um, I did release one. I wanted to release one on Saturday when we were back in Jackson again, but um, by the time it uploaded and we got there and everything, um, it was Sunday already. So I uploaded two on Sunday, and I uploaded one on Monday. Uh, so basically, here's what I'm going to do. Um, there is some reviewable stuff in this Oki box right here. There is an HLJ box on the way that has the Momo Ninja Shuriken, um, Surfer Maru, Shift Tridoron, and uh, two Pokemon Mega Bangle sets uh, that I do want to take a look at at some point. Um, so that is an HLJ box that is hopefully on the way. It hasn't shipped yet. I paid for it on Saturday. And it hasn't shipped yet as of Monday, so uh, that'll get here whenever. But there is a couple things in here that we can uh, take a look at, I believe, and um, we'll go from there. Basically, I'm gonna keep uploading the videos I wanted to upload last week, this week, and record the stuff that's in here and the HLJ box, and use that as a nice buffer. What I want to do is I've been wanting to redo the den room uh, for quite a while now. Because it's an absolute mess right now. What I wanted to do is I want to make it livable again. I want to have my desk facing the TV so I can watch the TV or play some games while I'm doing some work and whatnot. Uh, and I want people to be able to sit on the futon in there again. Um, that's a thing that isn't possible right now with the boxes everywhere. So I'm going to do a major redo of my den. And uh, that would mean tearing down the review station and possibly moving it. I don't know if I am moving it yet or not. Um, but regardless, that would mean a break from video. So what I'm going to do is since I have this nice probably five or six video buffer plus whatever I film from this Oki box and the HLJ box, it will be a nice possibly two week buffer for me in which I don't have to do any work whatsoever uh, and just focus on uploading. So that will be really nice. Uh, I will use that time to hopefully get the den work done and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So, that is story time of this vlog. I did have a really great time in South Dakota. Um, we saw Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse, um, the Badlands. We went on this bear or buffalo safari. That was really cool. Um, went to Bear Country, USA. That was kind of lackluster. But the, the bear cubs were cute anyway. Um, so, we, we did a whole bunch of things. That was really fun. I always love time with my family. My family's great. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't know where I would be without my family, honestly. Well, not here, because I would never have been born. But uh, my, my family's great, so it's always a fun time uh, out with them. But I am glad to be home. I missed my doggies, and they missed me. I don't know where they went now. They won't sit down since we got home. But anyway, I rested a little bit, and it is time for a new day. So let's go ahead and open up this box. 
Like I said, the HLJ box is on the way. I will not be doing a video when that arrives. I'll probably just post a picture to Twitter. And we'll go from there. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff in this box, I think. Um, we got right off the bat... Something fell. I don't know what it is. We got uh, TKPB01 Proto Drive. Um, I am heavily considering selling... Um, a lot of my gimmick figures uh, for Ryder. Same thing with the figure arts. Um, they're a lot more fun to me than the figure arts were, but I'm still not touching them after I get them and put them on my shelf. Proto Drive is probably one I would definitely keep until I make a figure art of, though. I love Proto Drive. Um, but anyway, uh, so he is here. Um, if, if that does happen, I will have a sales thread on my blog as normal. Um, but we'll we'll get there when uh, the time comes. Uh, we've got ACPB07 Duke Dragon Energy Arms from the Game and Drive movie. Uh, so he he's, he looks kind of cool. I'm interested in checking him out. Um, I am very much behind on the ACs. I got like two of them done. I think from the Premium Bandai series, and we're up to seven. So. Um, Drive will obviously get priority over catching up on these, so we'll see where we get with those. Um, premium as well, we have the Watermelon Lock Seed from the Gaim Gaiden movie, which I watched on the way back home. That was alright. Wasn't the greatest, but wasn't bad either. So, we have that. Um, that belongs to someone else in this box somewhere. What is this? This is DX. Oh, Lupin Gunner. This is our Lupin Gunner that I completely forgot was a thing this month because it happened a long time ago. Basically, what happened is that um, I was late in paying for my Ami Ami order and thus super late in paying Oki to ship my stuff. Uh, so, none of this actually got here in a reasonable time frame. Uh, so that is why it is so late. Get out of here, box. So we have the loop and gunner in this very, very nice premium box that I might have to keep because I tend to keep premium boxes. Uh, Coming Rider loop and loop and gunner. Uh, excited to take a look at this. I watched the the review, so I know exactly what to expect. Um, but it just looks cool. Plus, I love the voice. The voice is really cool. So we have that. Do we have anything in this box that's not premium? One thing right off the bat. This is 66 Action Ultraman 2. So what does set 2 have, folks? I don't know. Let's find out. I just cut the box. Kevin, your knife is too sharp. So we have... Two Ultraman Tiga, three Ultraman Taro, three Ultraman Leo, and two Alien Magma. So, there we go. I will be taking a look at these relatively soon, since I actually just uploaded the first set that was released in January um, about a day or so ago. So, those are cool. I always love more 66 actions. In fact, there's some more in here, too, I think. I don't see it in here. Oh no, those were released in June, not May. This is May Toys, actually. Um, the 66 Action Rider Set 5 was released in, like, the first week of June. Um, so that's why I feel like I should have it, but this is all stuff that was released in May. Uh, so I will be getting the 66 Action uh, Rider 6. I'll be getting that um, relatively soon, actually. Uh, so we have Figure Arts Yoshi is here as well as his first release bonus of a one-up mushroom still haven't uh, taken a look at luigi or much of any sh figure arts but um now that the backlog is very much dwindling uh, you can expect those within the coming months um let's see we got cure rhythm so cure melody finally has her best friend slash Lover, if this wasn't a show aimed at tiny girls. Because seriously, just just read between the lines, it's there. Oh, that's a fart. 
well, box fart anyway, but we have Cure Rhythm. Um, again, I haven't taken a look at Cure Diamond or Cure Melody, and Cure uh, Sword, I think, is out next month, or this month, or something. She's out sometime. Uh, so, I'm behind on those as well. Uh, and this is, oh, I'm excited for these. I'm going to dedicate a week to this series right here, since I have yet to take a look at Blue Beat, Black Beat, or these guys yet. I will take a, uh, a week to dedicate to the Beetleborg slash Beat Fighters SH Figure Arts line, because we have G-Stag and Rettle here as well. These are great figures. If you're a fan of Beetleborgs or Beat Fighter whatsoever, pick these up. These are great, great, great figure arts. And then one more thing in this box is just another Cure uh, Rhythm for my friend Joey. I need to send out his stuff. I really do. I've been neglecting that, and I feel awful. So what do we got in here? This is stuff. This is an invoice. Nope, that's not an invoice. This is an invoice. Oh, yummy. Pokemon. Uh, something for the Hoopa movie. A nice little thingy. Going, oh, look, it's all the legends coming out of the portal. What kid do you want to see? Legendaries? Here's all of them. And so here's this other thing. Uh, Bakemono. The Boy and the Beast. I'll just go with that. Um, so that is here. This is an entire pamphlet about... Oh, no, it's not. It's one singular thing. So here's the boy and his beast, or boy and the beast. It's like Beauty and the Beast, except with dudes. Um, the Ninja and Drive Summer Movies poster. Another Terminator Genesis poster. Ooh! Avengers Age of Ultron poster. Thank you, Oki. I love you very much. Um, Initial D poster. We got another The Boy and the Beast poster. And finally, a poster for the Hoopa movie. So, very awesome movie posters. Thank you, Oki. I love you very much. You make my poster collection happy. So, uh, that is about it. My battery light is flashing, so I'm going to try to wrap this up before it dies. Um, so, HLJ Box on the way. I will record that. I will record some of this, mostly the premium rider stuff, uh, more so than anything else. Um, create that buffer. I'll get my room done, get it situated, hopefully. Please. Uh, and uh, we will uh, get started once again at the, the next vlog. So, hopefully, probably by the time I get through all those videos, I'll have another vlog with all of June stuff. Uh, that's what I'm hoping at this point. So. Uh, lots of neat stuff here, and lots of neat stuff on the horizon. Uh, for those of you that aren't looking forward to Pokemon TCG videos, um, sorry. Uh, they do incredibly well on my channel, and I think they're really fun to do. I know not too many people here directly on my channel that I communicate with are fans of them, but um, it is something that I really do like to do. Uh, so it's something I'm going to keep doing. But after the Rayquaza EX box, I think you're going to be in a lull of Pokemon for a while since I can't really afford to buy any of the new promo sets, but we shall see. But uh, again, keep an eye on that review schedule if you want to know what's coming up next. I will refine that to be more accurate to my new break time and stuff. Uh, so we shall see what happens. So thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.